What's going on, Big Bang family? It's your boy, Big Bang Joe. And today, we're going to be talking about a personal loan that you can get up to $50,000 with, with just a soft pool. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you're new here. And I'll be sure to come welcome you to the family. Not only do you need to leave a comment down below, you need to smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell because you know I'm going to be dropping videos just like this and even more every single day, and you don't want to miss it. But if you've been here before, you know that I don't like my time being wasted, so I'm not here to waste yours, so we're going to get right to it. And this is not going to be a long video, right? I'm just going to give y'all the rundown and what y'all need to do if y'all want to go get this loan. Okay, so first and foremost, this is Upgrade. So Upgrade offers personal loans, they offer cards, they offer a checking account, and so on and so forth. But today we're talking about the loans. So they're going to be soft pulling from your TransUnion, credit report okay your transunion credit report so you want to make sure your credit report is in order and you see right here it says there's low fixed rates affordable monthly payments and no prepayment fees so that means if you pay it back early you know what i like to do with loans if i get loans i i, I would rather pay it back early so i have to pay all the interest so there's no fees to pay it back early so as i see right here it says that you can get a loan amount from 1000 to 50000 So after that, you want to type in the amount that you want, and then now you want to click what your loan purpose is. So you can either use it to pay off your credit cards, debt consolidation, business, home improvement, large purchase, or other. So this is what I will say. All right, let's say that you are looking to consolidate your debt or pay off your credit cards. I wouldn't put that because usually with credit cards, you know, when you get loan consolidations, they will offer to pay for the actual consolidation, right? They won't actually give you the money. They'll just pay the consolidation. So I wouldn't put debt consolidation or pay off credit cards. And I also wouldn't put business. Why do I say that? Because this is not a business loan. And much like SoFi, you will probably get your application denied instantly if you put business because this is not a business loan. This is for different things. They don't have nothing about business on here. So, you know, with SoFi, if you apply for it, you'll get denied. So this is the same thing. So you don't want to put business. They're just trying to filter the people out that doesn't uh, meet the criteria with this section. So you don't want to put pay off credit cards, debt consolidation. I would even sway away from home improvement unless you own your home. Um, but no normally I would put large purchase large purchase or other if you really want to get this loan you know there's no prepayment uh, fees but there is an origination fee all right and i'm not too fond of origination fees because it's 1.85 percent to 9.99 percent right and with this fee it just simply means that when they disperse the loan to you they're going to deduct between 1.85 percent to 9.99 percent and that's a lot right so you know it's, it's like they if you get fifty thousand dollar loan they're going to basically give you uh, one thousand to five thousand dollar fee just to get the loan. So it's that's a lot, right? So it's if you want this loan, you have to consider that. I, I'm not a big fan of fees like that. That's a crazy, that's a crazy fee because you know you still got to pay interest on the loan as well. I mean, unless you got a big play that you know you absolutely need the money, you can make a play with it. You can do something with that. Uh, the interest rates range between eight point four nine percent and 35.99 percent so that can be on the high end but you want to consider this it goes the interest rate is usually goes off your credit score and if the higher your credit score the lower your interest rate and the lowest being 8.49 so if you got a low credit score if you got 600 650 you you know you might get a higher you know rate and you just got to go off based on what you your needs are and what your wants are Right, it's always based on your credit score. Your profile means a lot, but when it comes to interest rate, it goes off your credit score. And y'all see down here, it says refinance, debt consolidation, home improvement, or major pur purchase. Uh, so you can you can use it for any of those, but you can also use it for whatever. If you're trying to run a play, you know, we, we use uh, credit to make money. We use loans to make money. So, um, but I like I said, this I'm not a big fan of upgrade just because of the origination fee. You know, I'm not really with that, um, but it gives you... It talks down here about the refinance, uh, debt consolidation, home improvement, major purchase. It doesn't say nothing about business, so you don't want to put business. So it says right here, you can check your rate, apply online in minutes, and see your rate with no obligation or impact to your score. Yeah, so that means that you can see you qualify without any hard equity to your credit. Okay, um, you can choose your loan, review multiple loan options, and decide which offer is best for you so it's flexible. And it's fast funding. You can accept your loan offer and you should get your money within a day of clearing of necessary verifications. Okay. So necessary verifications. When they talk about necessary verifications, you know, they, they want to verify your identity 
and they might be talking about proof of income. But I have literally seen people get a proof of this loan with no proof of income, just stated income. And it depends on the amount. I'm not sure the exact amount, but I've seen people get approved with just stated income. But when they talk about necessary verification, that that means they might potentially ask you for pay stubs, uh, tax returns, W-2, so on and so forth. So you want to be aware of that. But, you know, if you apply for this, check your rate, and they start asking for that documentation and you don't have it, just don't submit it. You know, as simple as that. It's nothing to it. Um, I'm not telling you all to allow your applications or whatever, but, like, you know, you can go off of your state of income and you could possibly get approved without it. So it's up to you. You know, this is informational purposes only. I'm giving y'all the info. Y'all do what y'all will with it. You know, that's just the game. Uh, but y'all trying to get to that bag, so I know what y'all going to do with it. Uh, I'm going to leave this link down below in the description, too, so y'all can just go off, rip, and check y'all rate if y'all want to. You know, this is giving an example of a personal loan. If you're approved for a $10,000 loan with 17.98% APR and 36-month term, um, it's just talking about, it's just basically elaborating on it. It's talking about the payments, you know, the money that you actually get in your account. It's, it's simple, right? So I just, if you have decent credit, uh, you can get approved. It's possible that you'll get no docs. Just just be aware of the origination fee, man. That's, that's a big fee to be taking out just to get a loan that you already got to pay back, okay? So unless you got something to do with it, you actually really need it or you want, you're going to make a play with it, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but it's something for y'all to take consideration in. You know, obviously it's a personal loan or it's going to report to your credit. But, you know, that's about it. If you got this loan, let me know down below what you think about it. Let us know what you did with it, if you ran a play with it, whatever you did with it. If you improved your home with it, let us know. If you haven't got this loan and you go to the side, if you want to pre-qualify, Go pre-qualify and come back to the comments. Hey, Bitman, you always got pre-qualified for 30000 And guess what? We're going to celebrate that win with you. With that being said, I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that like button. Come on, man. I shouldn't have to really say it too many more times. Y'all smash that like button. We want the video to get out there. And y'all leave a comment. I don't care what it is. Just leave a comment down below. But I appreciate y'all watching. And always remember, the top ain't going nowhere. You just got to get there. Let's... Get it. How to go and get it? Steady grinding just behind the scene. I've been on a mission. Gotta touch him by any means. Till we go, I'll fall.